Okay, today we'll be taking a look at the puppet Seijin by Elegab. So this is a uh, really goofy looking character from the uh, Elegab line. It is supposed to be a uh, hypnotizing puppet master who uses puppets to hypnotize um, people or I guess whoever. And it is a very tall piece. It is in, uh, it's in a nice orange vinyl. It's, let's say, 24 centimeters tall. It's in a nice orange vinyl. It's not like the, what you expect when you think orange. It's like a little bit, like it's orange with like a whiter hue. So it's like a milk, milk, no, it's like a, it's just orange with like a whiter hue. It's not like the very uh, popping or bright orange that you would expect. And uh, so we'll get into this toy now. So, uh, yeah, so these guys have hands. This guy has hands that are really not really hands. They're just like little pokey things, uh, which is used to fit in your, uh, the, the, these little puppets, finger puppets, I guess. And uh, we'll look at the main part itself. It's in a very nice, uh, I like really like the color coordination on the face uh, with the pink, the green, and the orange here. It's quite nice with silver sprays. On the top of the head, it's just like a weird looking like a middle of a vacuum or something, like a jet or something. And the arms are, and the body is quite sculpted. It has very um, craterish looking details. It's in a nice metallic blue and a gold spray. Whereas the middle part is in a regular yellow color. It has these little like chest plates that kind of look like it's a part of the, uh, the lapels in a suit. And here's the back end of it. Articulation wise, the head is movable and the two arms as well and the two legs. Uh, both of these, it comes with these four puppets and uh, all of them do fit on the uh, toy itself. Although I think some do fit a little bit nicer than others. So we'll look at each of these guys individually. I think he does, uh, Elgab does put a lot and a lot of detail into each of these guys, you guys can see. In the back, you have these like craterish looking fins and it's got a real goofy looking face. Uh, we'll look at the other one here. Two eyes, a goofy looking mouth, and these suction looking hands. These look like breasts, and these kind of like bobules or tumors on the back of his head. Uh, this one is just an eye. It's a bit more creepy looking. It's got veins. Uh, I really like the ones or the additions with the veiny eyes because it feels more creepy than the regular types. And uh, here we go. It looks a bit more wrinkly. Uh, so each of them are very uh, different. So it looks like these two are in one set and uh, the other two are in another set. And then you guys can see also with the eye color, the other ones are blue, whereas this one is green. And you can tell also by the texture, it's uh, more fitting. So this kind of looks like a like a claw or like a hand, like like you know chicken hands or something. You can kind of have it like that. It looks like a hand there. So that's quite nice, and uh, it's it's very cool to see him uh, him with toys with accessories, uh, with his patrol car too. That also comes with like little toy accessories. So it's very cool to have like sets with little things to play with, and it makes it a bit more playable. You can switch out the arms. Uh, kind of makes your guy look a little bit different. And you kind of have like these like puppet audiences that kind of like watch this guy try and hypnotize the other toys. So uh, for colorway or this guy for retail, I think it's like 9,800 or something. Uh, yen around there, um, not too pricey. Elegab stuff is always never too pricey. I think it's around there or like 12. Anyways, uh, not too pricey. And I had to get it on the secondhand market. I haven't been able to win any of the lotteries yet. So uh, my Elegabs are usually at secondhand market price. Um, sometimes slightly above retail, sometimes below retail as well. So it's quite nice for uh, to pick up Elegab stuff because it's the pricing is not too uh, in, too insane. So let's talk about uh, the colorways. It has a lot of a lot of colorways. Uh, some in glow in the dark. There's a lot of clear ones. There's a clear yellow and a clear purple, I think. And I really like the. Um, for this guy, I like this color, and there's another one, I think that was like pink, with like a lot of pink colors and like greenish sprays. Uh, that was very uh, more vibrant, the colors are very much more vibrant, so I prefer that one as well. Uh, but it's very hard to come by uh, an Elegag colorway that you like. 
or to be able to pick it up at a fair price uh, for uh, in a calorie that you like so you know you get what you get and uh, this one is still not bad because at least the colors kind of coordinate uh, so we'll um, settling with that for now so that's it this is the puppet station by Elegam. thanks